Abshani. Abshani. And also, we are still going to have a end of the year celebration service in the evening. Because eight o'clock in the evening, we shall be back here in the church. And um, We'll have to keep our service very short. So those who shall come late, they will just pray in the yard and go back home. If they are faithful, they will just walk in and say, Lord, thank you. And go back home. And uh, tomorrow we won't have a, a, a service here. We will start with our fasting and prayer conference on Tuesday. I know that when we go for fasting, your eating capacity also increase. I know that tomorrow some will sleep very late to make sure that they eat just before 12. I won't, bl I won't blame you for that. <laughs> I won't blame you for that. <laughs> When it's time to eat, eat as much as you can. So I, I asked all of us to uh, stand up on our feet. We open our arms. We want to say grace to this service and to this fellowship. I saw it necessary that even if we shall have the end of the year celebration in the evening, we must not postpone a Sunday service. It's very important. This is the day of the Lord. We have come to honor him and to thank him for what he has done in our lives, for who he is in our lives. Well, we cannot have anyone in our midst as good as our God. And we pretend that we don't see his goodness. He has given us the opportunity, the time to see those we want to see, to visit those we wanted to visit, to go where we wanted to go. And celebrate him in many ways. 
eating in every home. Have you ever had a party where everybody eats in his own home? There is no such a party except the party of Jesus Christ. He is still our Lord. He is still our Savior. We still need him. We still depend upon him. Father, we come before you to honor you, to give you all the honor, to give you all the glory. We still say you are our God. You are our Savior. You are our provider, our healer. And you are all that we have. You are all that we know. We pray that God in this day, a day when many people will be gathering in different places to do whatever befits them to celebrate the end of the year. But God, we have made up our minds that you are our God. We come to you even today to come and thank you for the opportunity for taking care of us, taking care of our families, taking care of us the whole year through thick and thin, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ. We have seen you healing us. We have seen you delivering us. We have seen you strengthening us. Where we became weak, you became our strength. Where we became sick, you became our physician. And to you be the honor, my God. To you be the glory. To you be the honor forever and ever. God, we thank you. We have come to this house on many occasions, but today we are coming to this house on the very last day of the month of December and on the very last day of the year of prosperity. And indeed, God, you have prospered us in every way, in many ways. We thank you. We praise you, Lord. We worship you because you are so good, so kind, so loving, so patient. And we bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. To you be the honor and the glory now and forevermore in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's take our seats. Once more, allow me to thank God for the grace to still be standing here. This reminds me in 1998 when now um, God has defeated me where I finally had to start to prepare for the launch of the Harvest Time Church for Harvest Time Church I won't forget I started fasting on 26 December until I finished on 10 January because I had no other option now. I had to serve God or not. So when I see the 31st of December, it reminds me of, of that year because by the 31st I was already deep in fasting <laughs> because when God speaks even if you are a hard person you will end up doing what he tells you to do 
But blessed are those who do it on time. Because once he speaks, you will do it. You may delay to do it. But you will do it. You better do it when you still have time. And I thank God Apostle E woke up and went to Koankoa. Uh, we decided to be on our stations whether we are two or three so that we finish right what we started right. And let me take you to the word of God. Revelation chapter 1. Chapter 1. I read verse number 8. Verse number 8. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come. The Almighty. Shabutelo chapter 1, verse 8. Himina Alpha na Omega. Kusungula nikuhela. Kubula hosi shkwembu. Loye angakona. Loye arkona. Loye ataka. Langani matimba yukwao. Under this prophetic theme. E hansi kantloko magangkulu leo profeta. He is the beginning and the end. It is very important to mark your beginning. Most of the time, we don't take note of how we start. And most of the time, we don't remember when we started. We just become excited along the way. Because starting speaks. The way you start speaks. I was just sharing with you how I started. After three years, God speaking to me about starting the Harvest Time Church. I couldn't. But 1998, I did not start the church. It started 1999. But 1998, when it was Christmas, I felt like this is last, like my last Christmas on earth. And I said, how far will I go when I disobey God like this. So in the plenty of the festivities and food. On 26 December 1998. I started a 14 day fast. That I finished on the 10th of January. That was the preparation of the start of the church on the 1st of February 1999. When we are given the opportunity to start, most of the time we cut corners. We do things in haste. We do things haphazardly and we start not well but celebrate 
we go on to celebrate and we forget that we did not start well and we will live a very long time trying to correct our starting and correcting how you started requires more energy more patience more discipline because when it did not start well you will be over disciplined you will be over patient to make up for the time that you were given to lay a good start in your life and it's not that easy not many can start that way and make it to the end so our God is the beginning and our God is the end it is good to start with God it is good to start in God it is good that right in the beginning you push yourself to the side of God because there is a great possibility that where you started you will end there. Let me repeat this. There is a great possibility that where you started, you will end there. So, when the year starts, we all want to start in God we all fast and pray and many churches pray for the whole of January but in December the churches are empty we no longer go and end where we started it is, it is grace and wisdom to know where you have started. When Jacob was fleeing from his brother Esau, the sun set for him and he was in the wilderness. And he took a stone. He made it his pillow and slept there. At night, he saw a vision. Heaven open. A ladder coming down from heaven. Angels were descending and ascending on that ladder and when he woke up in the morning he said surely God is here he named a wilderness the house of God he named it Bethel which means the house of God but it was just a bush and when he woke up he took the oil he had he anointed the stone 21 years later when God has blessed him he ran away from his uncle Laban 
He thought of that place. He searched that place. And he came to thank the God who carried him 21 years into the wilderness and prospered him and he came back. We are almost on the last day of the year. It's not the last day of life. It's the last day of the year. It is very important on this day to come and thank God before we can start asking for something else because we started here we were crying here we were blessed here we were prophesied here we dedicated our plans to God here so how can we be absent in the presence of God in the last day if God is our beginning he must also be our end we end where we started we end the same way we started. Why should we start a year with a bang? And finish the year absent. And we are still alive. Now today we are here to say to our God we started with you. We traveled. A year is a long thing. Even a day is a long thing. Even an hour is a long thing. Too many things can happen in an hour that can change your life forever. Even a minute is a very long thing. Things can happen in a minute that can change your life forever. But this God that we invited in our fasting prayer in this church he walked with us and it was not just a nice journey a good journey will have the highs and the lows along the way we lost some of our loved ones Along the way, we lost important things. But along the way, we gained more of God's love. Along the way, so many things threatened our lives. But God stood by us. God held our hands. Some we were failing to cross some other months and some other weeks. But this God who started with us did not blame us because some of the things that happened was as a result of our disobedience. He did not blame us. He did not forsake us. He did not disown us. He held us with his victorious right hand. And he said, you too deserve to see the end of the year of prosperity 2023. To me, I don't feel like the greatest celebration is to celebrate the new year. 
Because in the new year I have not yet seen God. But my great celebration is to celebrate God whom I have seen already in 2023. He was on our side. He took us out where Satan was pushing us in. As some of us, he just resurrected us. But some of us, he held us so strong that we not run away. When the battle became the toughest, God made us emerge as the strongest. We can speak more of this God that we have seen in 2023 than our future dreams for 2024. We are yet to see God in 2024. But I talk of God that we have seen in 2023 and be behind what kind of God is that he's the God who is he's the God who was he's the God who is still to come he's the God who is the same yesterday he's the God who is the same today and he's the God who will be the same even tomorrow the way I have I have seen God in 2023. It gives me assurance that in 2024 he will still be the same. He will still be my God. He will still be my Savior. He will still be my Deliverer. He will still be my Provider. He will still be my Healer. He will still be my Blesser. All I need is in Him. I am sure of Him today. Because of that, I will be sure of Him tomorrow. Come 2024. 2024. 2024 will find me standing with this faithful God. He is faithful. This God is faithful. This God is reliable. This God is dependable. There is no one like this God. Many can promise, but not many can keep their promises. Many can promise, not many can stand by their promises. Many can promise, not many can fulfill what they have promised. But I have found a God that is so reliable, and I'm not ashamed, even on the last day of the year, to stand up boldly and say, I have found a God, or I have been been found by a God who is dependable, who is faithful, who is always there. In the beginning, he is there. At the end, he is there. He was my God. He is still my God. He will remain my God because he is the beginning and the end. My life begins in him. And my life ends in him. In the name of Jesus Christ. That is the God that I want to worship today. That is the God I want to speak unto today. I say God. I did not know. What 2023 holds for me. But I have seen all that I needed to see in 2023. But above all, I did not just see all. I have seen a better God. I have seen you a better way. I have seen you a better Father. I have related with you better. That is why I'm here to give you honor. 
no one deserves this honor except my God I have come to give you glory no one can share with you this glory you alone are worthy of honor and glory I'm here to glorify you I'm here to increase you if it was possible I'm here to increase you yeah, to increase you so that you be more visible you be more practical even those who say there is no God when they see my God when they see the works of God in my life they will say at least at least there is God there is God at work it is not us who have worked in 2023 it is God who worked for us one of the revelations the Lord brought to me this week this revelation shocked me I heard the Lord Jesus say to me he said between a work that you can work for yourself and a work that has been worked for you which one can you choose I said oh, I will choose the work that someone has worked for me he said you have chosen right it is not your works that have brought you this far it is not your health that has brought you this far it is not your beauty that brought you this far it is the works of God every day, every night in your life on the road, at work, at school, everywhere God was working in your life God was working through you do you know that even where you are working you may feel that you are a hard worker but you don't know that behind the scenes they were thinking of firing you but God worked and said not this one this one is my servant he's not going anywhere that is why you are still there because God has worked for you if God has worked for you why can't you come and say God I thank you it's easy to say I am prayerful when you are successful it's easy to say I am a hard worker when they are promoting you it's easy to say that but it is better to say the Lord has worked for me it is better to say it's by grace that I'm still working it is by grace that I'm still alive how many people have you passed on the road in a terrible car accident some dead how many dead people have you passed on the road did they want to die did they want to die? Did they not pray? Are they not better than you? Surely it is by grace. Surely it is by grace. Surely it is by grace. He is the Alpha and Omega. Alpha and Omega. Oh, he started with us. Oh, He did not run away from us in the middle of the journey. When people disowned us, he did not.
when the countenance of people towards us changed his countenance towards us did not change he still saw us as his images he still saw us as his children he still saw us as his gifts we are a gift from God wonderful gifts different gifts unique gifts fearfully and wonderfully made he is the beginning we started with him let us not run away from him in the end let us not disown him in the end he had every reason to disown us but he did not disown us that is why he says though your mother and father may forsake you and disappoint you I the Lord your God shall neither forsake you nor disappoint you I am not disappointed by my God and I'm not forsaken the good the bad may happen but I don't feel forsaken by God because all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord I love the Lord too much that I shall never be disappointed by God I can be disappointed by people but not by God my God shall neither disappoint me nor forsake me he is with me he will be with me in good times and bad times he is with me and that I'm 100% sure that he is with me whether conditions are favorable or not he is with me he doesn't disappear no 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 he will not disappear he's not going anywhere so we are going to worship this God this is the last day of the year this is where we must know where to end the year Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You are a person who started in prayer. And in prayer. And in the presence of God. Ends up with your hands towards the throne of God. You started, when you started, your hands were on the throne of God. You need God throughout. Why, You need God more than ever. Just wave your hand and say he is the alpha. He is the Alpha and Omega. And Omega. He is Alpha and Omega. He Alpha and Omega. He is Alpha and Omega. He is Alpha and Omega. He is my Alpha. He Alpha Wamin. And my Omega. Na Omega Wamin. He is my beginning. He is my Sunguliami. And he is my ending. I begin in him because without him there is no me 
Without him, there is no beginning. In him is me. Me is in him. In him is me. Me is in him. We are together forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever, and ever. And ever. hallelujah amen hallelujah amen hallelujah amen When we started the year, I was standing here guiding you, praying for you, encouraging you. We are ending the year. By the grace of God, I'm still standing on the same spot. Hey, what a grace! I type you to two men. I was standing here on the same spot. 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 Aniri, prophet Hala. Oi, prophet, prophet, the end. She was a pagan. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God I'm still standing here. I'm still standing here. Oh, by the grace of God, I'm still standing here. I'm still standing here. After I have had two weeks of fierce battles in the realm of the spirit. I got my breakthrough this morning by the grace of God. <laughs> oh, God is so good. Because when darkness look ahead, they see what is coming your way. It fights to block. So when you pray, everything that is trying to close with opens up automatically in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's stand up on our feet. Amen. Masungulo yanga, masungulo yanga, masungulo yanga. Asungu lo ya Oh Asungu lo ya Asungu lo ya Nga Ya tiri wali wena Asungu lo ya Asungu lo ya Nga Ya tiri wali wena Ni ma hetele lo ya mina Lima hetele lo ya mina, oh ya ti. Lima hetele lo ya mina. Lima hetele lo ya mina. Lima hetele lo ya mina. Basungulo ya, ne ati ne ma he 
Open your lips right to you are. Mandala Bashanda Rabasin Mandale Boshende Rebasian. Don't whisper, open your lips. You have seen a lot, you have seen it all. You will not have passed where Satan never wanted you to pass. But God, who started with you, made you pass in the name of Jesus. He made you pass as though there was no a snare. There was no snare there. Lift up your voice. Praise him if you can. Or worship him if you can. Tell him you are my Alpha. I will not have started this journey. I will not have started this career. I will not have started this family. I will not have started this business. I will not have started this grace. But since you are my Alpha, since you are my beginning, I have begun a great journey in my life and I know you are my alpha you are my happy ending in the name of Jesus Christ I know that weeping may endure but for a night I have had my moments of weeping I have had my moments of weeping throughout the year but joy comes in the 
your morning. You are my morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are my sunshine. You are my sunrise. You are my hope. And hope shall never disappoint us. I lift up my eyes. And look upon you. The maker of the hills. I look upon you. My Alpha and Omega. I look upon you. My salvation. My deliverer. My redeemer. I look upon you. My provider. I look upon you. I see you providing. You have provided. You have provided me the whole year. And I look back my God. I have seen my your hand upon my life. Surely you have healed me. Surely you have strengthened my bones. Surely you have strengthened my veins. Surely you have strengthened my spirit. You have strengthened my body. Do you be the Alpha? Do you be the Omega? I dedicate my beginning and my ending to you. You are holy, my God. Yalla <laughs> 
Oria mandele bo shende reba satala baya. Yele ba sanda rabaya. Yele ba sata. Yete reba ya. Yendele ba sata. Yanda la ba shende reba ya. Yala ba sende reba ya. Yanda la ba shende. Yanda la ba shende. Yala ba yendele bo shende. Yele bo siata raba. Yele bo sete reba ya. Yele bo sete reba ya. Yala ba shende. Yala ba sete reba ya. Yala ba shende reba ya. Hey, 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 Shalabayende 
Just open your arms one more time. Nobody will force you to pray. But there will be days when you will pray. 
you better practice to pray every day. You better practice to depend upon God every day. While our hands are open up. Thank God for keeping you and your family. Thank him from the bottom of your heart. You know, sometimes we fail to thank God for what we have. Because we want more of what we do not have. And don't appreciate what we have. God has kept you. If you don't hear, let me pray for grace that you hear. God has kept you. God has kept your family. You may say, but we have lost others. Yes, but God has kept you. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we thank you. <laughs> We thank you, Lord, for thank keeping you, Lord. us. Thank, thank you for you, keeping Lord. me. Thank, thank you, you for keeping my family. Thank you for keeping my Thank you for keeping this beautiful church. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for keeping every one of us despite the trials. You, despite Jesus. the challenges, thank despite you, the sicknesses and the attacks, we are grateful. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for keeping us. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Lord, for thank keeping you, us. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for thank keeping you, Lord. us. Thank you, Lord. For your glory. <laughs> You kept us for your glory. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Your grace. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We are kept despite our weaknesses. You have kept us like we are a mighty army. Like we are mighty warriors. Thank you. Oh, yes. We were scattered, you, everyone on his own, you, different Lord. destinations. <laughs> but God, you, Lord. you have kept us. You have kept us. You, Lord, kept us. <laughs> you have kept us. Thank you, Lord. You have kept us. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let's just take our seats. Just open your arms, sit it as you are. Close your eyes. God, thank you for keeping us. Thank you for being there for us in the beginning. And thank you for keeping us to this very last day of the year. We thank you. We have not paid you for keeping us. And you did not keep us because of our faithfulness. But you kept us because you are faithful. You did not just keep us. You provided us. We lacked nothing throughout the year. You defended us. 
We defendile. You protected us. We sirilerile. You blessed us. We katexile. You have met our needs. We give you honor and glory. And today we are gathering here in your presence by your grace, by your mercy. We will forever appreciate you. We will forever thank you. We still ask you on this very last day to keep us to protect us to bless us so that even when we prepare for the new year we know you have prepared for us great things good things for your glory we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's give the Amen. Lord a hand of praise. I believe Let's give the Lord a hand of praise. I believe Let's give the Lord a mighty clap offering. I believe Let us prepare to give. In the presence of God, I enjoy the presence of God. And I enjoy giving. Because to me, all that I have belongs to God. It's by grace. I got it from him. So when I give to him, I'm giving to him so that he can bless it and multiply it. I give it to him because it is worth giving to him. And I know every time I give, he gives me more more than I can ask more than I can think so there is no way I can become so stingy now that I have it I did not qualify to have it he qualified me to have it it is his I bless him for it. With me growing up in a poor place, no lunch box, going to school, no uniform. But today I have more than I can ask. It is by grace. It belongs to him. I must share it with him. I will give him until my pockets are empty. I will keep on giving him. And I know he will keep on giving me back. And a good measure. Pressed down. Shaken together. Running over. He will keep on pouring into my lap. That's the understanding and that's the experience I have with this God. To me, giving is not just to give him change. I give him what belongs to him. And all that belongs to me, he will give it. Father, we want to come and be a blessing to your house. To this very last day, we come to offer you sacrifices. We know that it is not sacrifices that you desire, but it's our love, it's our joy, it's our peace. We are just using these sacrifices to express our love for you and our obedience for you. Because you said in John 14, 15, if anyone loves me, let him obey my commands. You have commanded us to give. In Luke 6 verse 38, 
You said, give, it shall be given a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall be poured into your lap. For with the measure you used to give shall be used. We thank you for all who kept on giving against all odds throughout the year. They kept on tithing. They kept on redeeming their pledges. God, such faithfulness, I know it will provoke your true faithfulness and you'll bless us until we have no room enough to store the blessings for your glory. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen. Let's come and give if you want the speed point. It's available there. I think that you get a little speed point. It's going to tell you. Yeah. As we come and give, we stand on our feet and say, Lord, come here, one I eat, I kill it. He and I, he and I, oh, he and I, he and I, he and I, Jehovah, Lord, Lord, come here, one I eat, I kill it. Oh, he and I, he and I, he and I, he and I, Jehovah, Lord, he and I, oh. Look at me, when I eat a kill. Here, 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 Yehova, All of me when I kill it. He and I Jehovah. All of me when I kill it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Do it again. He and I, 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 Jehovah, look at me when I eat a killer, you know. He and I, 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, 
What about we say, are you ready for 2024? Can we sing it? Are you ready for 2024? We are ready. We are ready for 2024. We are ready. Yes. We are ready for 2024. We are ready. We are ready for 2024. We are ready. For 2024, oh, we are ready. We are ready. For 2024, we are ready. 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 Into 2024. I'm one please, leg in. Please, please, Lord, I'm ready. One leg into 2024. Please, just another leg. Just take your seats. I want to. We are we are to the end of the service, Mod but mass. Um, the missed announcement is that we are. Um, Coming back at eight o'clock tonight. Uh, we are eight o'clock, Majambena Munta, to celebrate the end of the year. We will also have Holy Communion. But tonight we will finish just after twelve. Because tomorrow we want to rest. And Tuesday, we are starting with our fasting and prayer conference week. I know your pots are full. So I want to give you enough time to have two lunches today. Two dinners today. Two breakfasts tomorrow. Two breakfast mzugu. Two lunch. Two lunch. Two dinner. Two dinner. And end. Ugimeta. Until next week, Saturday morning. <laughs> Until we will do that by the grace of God. It has we end as well so in Zoltashkwin. So um, can we go offline? <laughs> I, I just wanted to check this.